I've been watching a lot of like cold freshwater fish videos because yes. I was thinking like, Lots. oh, if I've got like an outside thing with water and I don't want mosquitoes, <laughs> I should put something in there that will stop the mosquitoes from surviving. And so I started like looking at different different fish or things that you can do to water oh to uh, to figure out like to help quell the <laughs> mosquito population that, I guess. that was your main focus i thought it was a completely different thing no it, it wasn't it, really the mosquitoes was it it was the mosquito okay. that's well it, i don't know you i guess that's fine <laughs> that's why i was looking well it, it's multifold like uh, okay. the first reason that i was looking at all these different fish and and everything was because I wanted to figure out what would survive in the cold outside with like very little filtration mm -hmm. so that I can not have to worry about it, but it'll kill mosquitoes. mosquitoes. You don't have to worry about mosquitoes yeah. in standing water. I, was I guess like, we do live in a cold area. Yeah. And so I was like, I, I kind of, would, you know, I want to have this sort of like, like uh, in Animal Crossing, we have those little like those lotus bowls outside yeah. of your house, right? Yeah, yeah. I wanted something like that. But at the same time, I was like, I don't want to create like a breeding area for, for mosquitoes. So what can I do about it? And that's why I started watching all these little, like, this is my porch bucket for, for <laughs> cloud minnows. And I was like, oh, okay. So these minnows, they, they can, they, they, well, they do, yes. And, and, and more importantly, they survive in anything. Like, you could plant them in mud practically, it would seem. Plant the fish. <laughs> stock, stock the fish yeah. in, in mud sure. practically. Like, they, they're very hardy fish when it comes to, like, they don't really seem to care how bad the water is. They will survive. Um, which is good survive. and they don't care about the temperature too much uh so, like stories of people's outdoor ponds like freezing over and the fish being there the next as soon as it thaws out so i was like okay i think All that'll right. survive a summer of, of water you know in yes. in in our state and uh so then, you just then been watching all these youtube so videos i was watching a ton pumped. of youtube videos and then katie was like uh i want to surprise you but uh I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> well, because he's been working so hard. Like, he's essential worker. He's, like, working these long hours. Psh, I'm unemployed. And so, you know, I have all the time in the world. And I wanted to do this for him. But I feel like it, uh, I won't give it away just yet. But it's a project that I could have done and, like, surprised you with. But I would rather have you have the experience of making it. Because yeah. all of these YouTube videos you've been watching, it's like very meticulous. These guys are talking about the substrate and the type of water and the pH values and all this stuff. And yeah. you love making these like puzzles for yourself. I love puzzles. And it's a very beautiful thing. Anyway, can we tell the people what it is? Yeah, yeah. We made an aquarium. We made an aquarium. So if you're on our, uh, um, and yeah, if you're on our Discord, you've probably already seen it. Or on. A social media or on we our social media somewhere yeah we posted a little bit of it but we've got a, a nice little sand uh bottom aquarium that'll be you know no heater because the the minnows don't need it yes we went with some uh dwarf uh sword grass to hopefully propagate a little bit and make some little sprigs we've got oh, the mario nice. balls that even katie My can't kill favorite! yes i think that's also why i love them they cannot be killed they cannot be they're adorable there's already a baby over in the corner here yeah and i don't really know what we're gonna we're gonna name it i think mario has been another popular answer yeah so if mario survives there will be mario mario the mario mario meow mario mario yes Anyway, Mario. Yeah, awesome. so I'm I'm stoked. We're we're in uh, um, fish tank, uh, like nitrogen cycle mug. So <laughs> we have to wait for the tank to sort of finish balancing itself out, yes. grow the beneficial bacteria that help keep the ammonia levels down. Right now, the ammonia is like off the scale. It turned so green when I did the test today. Uh, so we've got to wait for the uh, uh, the bacteria to develop that'll break that down into nitrate that the uh, plants will then be able to consume. So, once again, once, nerd. Yeah, just kidding. I, it's I, great, I, though. It's, it's great. It's true. <laughs> I mean, it is true. It is. Uh, yeah. I believe geeking out You're is the other term. Super geeking out. Literally, it's been nonstop. So I thought, you know, it's it'd be a calming. Good it's very it doesn't calming. even have fish in it, and it oh. feels good just to stare at it. I love it. I think the lights that came with the tank. We got the tank for a super good deal, by the way. Yeah, it was Thanks, a, on Smart. clearance. It, it was amazing. Like eighteen dollars for the whole set. Yeah. Anyway, so, but like, it, just to look at it, it's like you said, it's super well, calming. Well, eighteen dollars for the tank, light, and filter. Yes, the whole 
that package that came yeah. together. Um, but it's just so calming to look at. And to kind of have, like, even though we do live near water, now that we're in quarantine especially, mm-hmm. we don't get that kind of, that sense of nature or outdoors or water necessarily yeah. that we crave. Totally. So to have that in the house is so helpful. Ah! It's it feels Plains so good to stare at it. Put so much work and love into that tank. So that yeah. means a lot. So thanks for saying Thank it's you. pretty. Yeah. All yeah, of our I little Marimo sa- babies. I put the sand in, I flattened the sand. <laughs> I took the we so we bought a bag of rocks. Like I paid money for rocks. Like, like that's how hilarious. An absurd this is. amount for rocks. Like you think, oh okay, one rock, a dollar. I mean it's like thir- two dollars. It's like thirty bucks for fifteen pounds of rocks. Yeah. Of like these that's special aquarium safe rocks. Crazy. Anyway. It is an underground Zen garden. <gasps> That's the theme. How did you know? And the, like, so perfect. I was taking the rocks and I was like washing them and I was looking at them and there were a couple rocks that I liked them, but I didn't like the way they looked. And so I took them and I like split them and I was like carving them a little <laughs> bit so that I could have like the right shape of rocks, those little clumpings yeah. of rocks. You literally became like Michelangelo. Yeah. Like you were I, like, I was like, the rock I want is in this rock. I just need to break it down. And make, yeah, you make it beautiful. So he made all those beautiful rocks. Well, I made three of you them. You made three, three of, of those rocks. The rocks. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it looks so good put together. Like, mm, mm, it's just bravo, fun. Baby. Ooh, it's just yeah. fun to. It's just fun to look at. It sounds oh, like thank a toilet you. flushing. <laughs> Maybe that's just my headset, though. Maybe, I hope that's just in the headset. That that sounds like a toilet. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, how have you been, Steve? And Silver Set, how have you been, guys? Awesome. I just miss everybody. It's been, um, it's been a long time. But yeah, so it, it's really fun. Tank rocks are crazy expensive. The turtle tank you have is about twenty five or ten pounds. Yeah, right. It's oh, literally yeah, like Steve two knows. bucks a pound of rock. Like it's, it's crazy. Uh, but it'll be exciting to get the aquarium done. Um, actually it getting actually fish get in there. Fish. Like, that, We're I'm looking about at that. like I said, the white cloud minnows are a definite must in that tank uh, because they're cold water yes. and they just will survive in anything. So we'll I be want, looking at those guys. I want some sucker fish. And the, yeah, so we're going to get, uh, sucker fish. for, for a sucker fish, we're looking at a hill stream loach, uh, mm-hmm. which is sort of a funky, uh, like almost looks like a stingray shape to it. They're so cute. And, they're like uh, a baby stingray. Yeah. Like a little tiny, little tiny loach. Uh, and they're, they're used to streams as well. So like the white cloud minnow used oh, to like mountain stream streams. Fish. And then the the loach also mountain streams, Ooh. so they should be used to cold water. Um, and the cool. the white cloud minnows I found out recently they are extinct in the wild. They only Sad. exist in captivity. <laughs> so by breed like not necessarily not breeding them, but by by having <sighs> them in a tank, yeah, we're helping make sure the species stays alive. Yeah, we're doing yeah. our part. Yeah, which is such a cap thing Woo. to say. Now we just need red <laughs> pandas. Yeah. Yeah, getting those fish. Maybe yes. we'll breed them and then we'll like release them in the wild. Be like, off you go, little that, baby fish. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> They're probably just sending you up to your death, perhaps. Yeah, don't. And especially <laughs> considering that they're from mountain streams in China, uh, I wouldn't recommend releasing them in Washington. That's yeah, Washington State. You're gonna be like that guy mm. who released the walking mm. fish in like was it Michigan? <laughs> it yeah. It's this fish that like will walk like miles across from so from from uh, that's so disturbing. one like lake to another lake, and they've basically like taken that. over these lakes over it's either Minnesota or or like South Canada. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, it's it's awful. How, well, that's kind of like when spiders learn to like jump really far. It's like fish shouldn't be able to. Yeah, they might not be invasive right now, but it would not be good if they began that way. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. They were like, they'd all trace us back to our house somehow. They know. They're like, they like take the fish out of the world. They do like, the genome sequencing and they find like, they do a sample <laughs> from everyone in the area's tank that has them. And they're like, oh, you, it's, you. it's your tank. You started we this We have monstrosity. the gene sequence. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Maybe they'll change into other small walking fish. Be equally as terrifying. No, the walking fish, are, they look like an oar fish, but like their oh, front massive. fins like, like, like can the- waddle on. So they're like really long eel like looking Gross. fish. They're terrifying. Gross. Yeah. Cool. Well thanks yeah. for that horrifying mental image. Yeah.